What's up, YouTube? It's Torhan coming at you with the Torhan's How to Play Minecraft, Episode 3. Um, this episode, we're actually going to go outside and look for that spider. Because I want me some... Uh, I want me some string, because I want a bow. Oh, spider! Spider, spider, spider! There you are. Alright, so basically combat is this. You can walk up to him and hit him, but he's going to hit back, and he hurts. Oh, what did I do that for? No! Ah, he gave me string. But you see, when he hit me, he took some hearts away. So you want to be careful when you're attacking a spider, or anything else that can fight back, because they can kill you. And when you die, you drop everything and go back to where you spawned. Which can be a good thing or a bad thing, depending how far away you are from your spawn point. If you've slept in a bed, you go back to your bed. But if you haven't slept in a bed yet, you would go back to where you first came into the game. So what I want to do is come over here and get me some wool. Mr. Sheepy gave me one. Creepers blow up. Creepers that blow up hurt. In hardcore mode, like we are in a hard, in a difficulty of hard, they do even more damage than normal mode. So we want to be careful when it comes to creepers, because they can kill you pretty easily. So I got one sheep. Or I got one wool from the sheep. Also, in combat, something to remember is you can reduce the damage you take by holding right-click and blocking. Left-click to attack, right-click to block. I'll get into that more later when we have to actually fight something like a zombie or a skeleton. God, I keep hitting the button to drop my weapon. I'm so used to playing my MMOs that I come to play this and I hit the wrong button. Lame! No, come back here! I want the wool. Alright, we got three wool. No more killing innocent sheep. I will not kill you anymore. Sand. We're going to go ahead and take this sand because it's here. Oh, look. Invisible. Oh, wow. Invisible dirt. Or sand that's suffocating me. That is lame. Uh, we're going to go back over this way, where we saw the water. Oh, yellow flower. We're going to come over here. So I've decided that we're going to create our first wheat farm underground. For the sole purpose of being able to go use it at any time we need from our little hidey hole. Alright, that's all the glass we need, or all the sand we need for now. That'll give us enough to create some windows. Go in! Thank you. Alright, so we come over here to this, and we have 39 sand. So, um, I think I'll cook it all. So what we're going to do here is throw a couple of those in there. It will cook the sand for us. In the meantime, we need to create ourselves a hoe. Cobblestone. And we're going to need seeds. I only got three seeds. Wow. You get seeds from grass. So I'm coming out here to get a few more seeds from the grass that is growing wonderfully free for us out here. Get 
Give me more seeds. Now, as you grow wheat and harvest it, you actually end up with um, more seeds. Like you normally get uh, at least two seed, at least one. Some more often you get two seeds when you harvest your wheat. So you normally end up with enough seeds harvesting your wheat that you can fill a whole farm. So that gives me 15 seeds, which will make five loaves of bread initially, because it's three, it's three wheat per bread loaf. So, check this out. Yep, see, we have glass. Um, we need a dot. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, we almost have enough string for a bow. You need three pieces of string for a bow. So, eventually here we'll have enough. And I actually want to make this easier to go down. So I'm not bumping my head every time I go down. So what we want to do here is create ourselves a place over here for farming. And I'll probably actually take it back one. That way we can have plenty of room for our farming. We must farm. And you need plenty of light for a farm. So just to be overkill, we're going to add torches all along there. And that should give us ample light for farming. Oh, we forgot to make a hoe. Lame. I knew I forgot something. Sorry, people. We gotta run all the way back up. I need to make some stairs. That's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna make some stairs. So, to make stairs, we're gonna do this. Hopefully this will be enough to go all the way up and down. Oh yeah, we also need to make our hoe. A hoe is done like so. Now we have a stone hoe. All right, and... Let's see if we have enough. Oops. No good. Um, I'm hoping. Nope, we're not going to have enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need 12 more. Okay. That's still not too bad. So, what we're going to do here. As, as you can see, when you tilt the ground, if it's near water, it gets saturated. It gets basically it turns a darker color, which means that things are going to grow faster there. Uh, we only have 16 seeds, so we're going to start with just those. So what we're going to do is plant these like so. Now here's something to remember. You can, if you jump on, if you walk on them, it doesn't hurt them. But if you come over here and you jump on one, I can't jump because uh, seeing so. But if you jump on it, it'll it'll destroy it. So make sure that on your crops that you do not jump on them. Otherwise, you'll ruin it. So what this will do basically is these will grow while we're in the area, 
and we'll come down here and check on them later and harvest them. Uh, we may actually just turn this into our own little mini farm area down here. Uh, throw some sugar cane down here as well. Since I have some, I'm going to go grab it and grow that at, at the same time. It won't hurt to have a little sugar cane growing as well. Oops, it's nighttime again. Oh, wow. Oh, that's all right. Oh, wait, we can make some glass windows. So, we can come over here. Put a window. This way, at least we can kind of see what's going on outside without having to go outside and look. And we need to eat again because we're running low on food. Okay. Oh, look, there's Ombert. I can kill you through the door, and you can't do nothing, sucker. Bring it on, buddy. Bring it. I'll kill you. Actually, I'm thinking I might make the whole this whole level glass. So you can see what's going on all around us. Yes, I like that idea much better. So, yeah, we'll just do it that way. Um, I do want to do these ones here, at least. Hey. So that way we can at least see out that way. That way, that way, and that way. And that's our tunnel to our little farm area. So we're going to do sugar cane. And... That is all. Oh, stairs. Haha, <laughs> almost forgot. I almost spaced it, people. Oh, we're going to we're gonna have to definitely go get us some more cobblestone. And if you leave it... You can actually uh, leave it, and it'll drop everything you didn't use yet. So oh, that gave us plenty. And so I'm going to finish these stairs real quick. Throw the uh, the sugar cane down to grow. Are they... Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is show you how to make a bed. And then we're going to call it good for this episode. And the next episode, we're actually going to go and do real caving. And explore. Gosh dang it. All right. I don't want to do that. Okay. The thing about sugarcane, to keep in mind, is that it needs to be... Oh. It needs to be on water. And it does grow a certain height. So what we're going to do here is make this row of four sugar cane. So we'll have a row of sugar cane and we'll have a row of, or two rows of wheat. Come on, jump, there we go. As you can see when you jump, it untills the ground and it would destroy anything that's on there. I'm doing this so I don't have to go through and dig it up and replant it. All right, so we're going to throw down some sugar cane. And that grows to be three tall. So that will grow right next to these. But you can jump on these without destroying them, which is awesome. So as you can see, the wheat is now growing. It is still in its early stages of growth, but it is growing. 
we have our little area down here, which I'll probably expand to be three high all the way around so it's not so claustrophobic. This will give me more cobblestone. And cobblestone is our friend. Yay for cobble! Um, I also... Eventually I'll show you guys how to do some really cool automated farms once we've managed to find redstone. Um, there's some really cool ways to do automated farm systems, and that is it for that. We're going to have to go get some more wood, too, because we're, we're going to run out of that soon as well. But to keep things from spawning down here, we need to keep it lit up. All right. Up we go. Dun, dun, dun. Any baddies out there? Oh, there's a skeleton. There's some creepers having a conversation. Probably talking about how do we get in the building and kill the guy. There's some trees over there. More creepers. Yeah, they're plotting against us. You know it. They're plotting, man. They're plotting to kill us all. They are. They're going to do it, too. All right, I'm going to make myself two picks since I go through them so quickly. All right, so we got two picks. Let's drop this in here, this in here. We'll keep that. Drop that. Oh, let's make a bed, and we can make a den. Oh. Ooh, we're going to show you guys something. Oh, I can't sleep when he's nearby. They burn in the sunlight. So if they're outside and you sleep and they try coming back, they burn. Burn, baby, burn! Zombie flesh. Alright, we need to make a bed. A bed, a bed, a bed. Which means we need three pieces of wood. One, two, three. And then... You put your wool on top, and it makes a bed. Bad creeper! See, creepers are evil. It's the only thing that it doesn't block is the creeper from seeing me. Arr. You heard that hiss? That's the telltale sign of a creeper sneaking up on your butt. Uh, at least he didn't kill us. We'll make it daytime. And that essentially creates our spawn. It also makes it daytime outside, so we are free to go explore. Any skeletons or zombies that would have been outside would now be burning up in the daytime. The only monster that doesn't die in the daytime would be a creeper. Instead, they just, you know, blow. Oh, and Enderman. That big black dude down there? He is an Enderman. Do not stare at him, for he will kill you. Endermen are not your friends. They want to eat you. Alright, let's go check on our farm. And as long as everything's looking good, we're going to call this one a good episode. Yep. More growth, as you can see. As soon as we have a couple more of these harvested, we'll drop them right there. And that'll give us a full two rows of it. Which I believe is going to be 18 worth. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Nine, yeah, 18. So 18, that would give us uh, three. Tree, that would give us, no, six. That would give us six pieces of bread. Or, yeah, it, it basically it would give us six loaves of bread every time we harvest a full harvest, which is actually pretty good. So we've created a bed. We've slept in our bed. We've done a farm. At least down there for now until we can expand it outside and do a real farm. 
you know, basically the next thing I want to do is I want to get some supplies together and I want to go exploring a cave and looking for some iron. We really need some iron. Uh, so that's what we're going to do next. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here, everybody. I do appreciate you guys watching. If you have any comments or suggestions, leave them below. Otherwise, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care, everybody. Peace.